Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the podcast that the New York Times called nothing because they don't know about it. It's Is This What You Want? I'm Matt O'Brien, and I just got a haircut. And across from me is Julia Ladkowitz. Hello. I didn't get a haircut. That's the episode, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's another uh, exciting week where my hair has to grow in from a fresh haircut. Yep. We're all talking about it. All of L.A. is a buzz. It's uh, it's been a lot. No LA cannot get. Oh, I get it because they buzzed it a little bit. A little you said bit. she didn't use scissors. She only used a little buzzer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand how hair cutting works because sometimes they just don't wet it. Sometimes they do wet it. Sometimes they use scissors. It's a lot of different strategies around this head. Here's the problem. You go to different people every time. So you're always like, oh, I really like that haircut. I'm like, well, get that person's name so you can go back. You go to the same place, but you just get who's he what's it's who's, you know, maybe it's their first day. I know because I'm afraid to talk when I'm there. I'm still powerfully socially anxious, especially at the hair cutters. The hair cutters? The hair cutters. Especially at the turd cutters. Can you imagine there was a place that cut your turds for you? Ew, like you, th- your butt just lost any like suction and then you had to get them manually cut, the turds? It, yeah, this is a terrible thought, but I have to finish it because um, I've already started it. Oh, turds no. are dangling out of our butts. We have to go to a special store for them to cut it off for <laughs> Yeah, it's like (laughs) when dogs, like when Shangela goes to the bathroom sometimes and like it's not fully out and it's usually like one of my hairs that's in there. So we have to take the bag and go. It's like pull starting a tiny weed whacker. Oh, Oh. (laughs) Um, apologies if this is your first time listening to this podcast. I promise we'll get to something. You know what? That you want. I don't promise that because, you know, we we usually just escalate into uh, even more stupidness. I mean, the past few weeks have been us just talking about if we can eat or blow up various exotic animals. Um, Yes. And it's usually, yeah, a lot about poo poo, a lot about pee pee. Oh, I should have got this person's name. Someone commented on our podcast video about eating monkeys if it's illegal. Oh, yeah. And this woman was like, I went to a kid's birthday party in Brazil. And when I showed up, there was a like cooked monkey on the table, like spread out. Like of just... Like a charcuterie of monkey. (laughs) And she's like, we left immediately. Just a full like open Open monkey. monkey. I'm just picturing like a monkey and then they just went down the middle and just ripped it open. And then it's it's just... Like Huli Huli style or what's... A spatchcock. A spatchcock monkey. Spatchcock (laughs) monkey. Um, So as we riffed on that, I had no idea that would actually go somewhere uh, in reality. But... uh, I am curious what monkey tastes like. Spatch got monkey. Yeah. Um, We're going to have to pay royalties on that. Uh, They don't know what we're singing. I guess It doesn't sound that much like it. I assume every meat that I've never had, it's like, I'm just picturing chicken. Hmm. I feel like a lot of meats uh, are are quite gamey. Yeah. Well, uh, when we had octopus recently, I hated that texture. I liked it. I don't, it tasted like an eraser. No. Like, Like, my teeth went through it and it was like, oh, we're still going. Oh, it's soft, but also It's firm, very dense. Dense. And it's just like, what is... And the inside is like white and weird. And also reading about octopuses, octopods. I, yeah, I don't want to eat octopi pies, octopipies. Because um, their brains... First of all, they're, they're fantastic aliens. problem solvers. Um, but they also have their brain... So, uh, I'm not quoting this properly, but it's like our brains are all situated in our head, whereas an octopus, their brains like go out into their limbs and their. So we're eating their brains. Stuff. Yeah, we're essentially zombies for octopuses. I don't think I think I'm over octopus eating. Yeah. No more octopus eating for me. The first world thing to say. Well, I don't want to. I feel bad eating them. Um, but, but you know what, guys. This is a podcast. You Um, guys. You guys. You guys. I've had a weird week, but Uh uh, if this is your first time tuning in, this is the podcast called Is This What You Want? And we try to figure out what you want. And often it's just nothing. Um, It could be. This is what what I'm thinking because not to toot my own boot or anything, um, but a, a video of mine is going viral on Facebook as we speak. And people are now discovering this podcast because I'm posting podcast clips as well. So mm. if you're from that, um, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for being here. And also, I, uh, I I I am going viral on Facebook because I posted that loud neighbor video again, mm-hmm. which is my uh, my golden egg when it comes to going viral on things. Yeah, you post it anywhere, it goes viral. You post it anywhere, it gets over a million views, and then people go gaga goo goo for it, even though it's 
fake. It's a lie. It is fake. It is fake. It's a hundred percent fake. So if you found this podcast and you you uh, uh, wanted that information, that's what you got. Everyone's like, first of all, the comments on it are even funnier every time I post it. Now people think I'm going to jail because it's what? illegal for me to c- connect to my neighbor's Bluetooth speaker oh, and play God. music. Um, is it really? I don't know. Also, people it's, accidentally connect to speakers all the time. Am I going to jail because I accidentally? Yeah, I've, I commented on a few of them because people are like, it's actually illegal and you should delete this because uh, the pe- police could find it and they could yeah. be like, listen, we all know the police are not doing much these days. <laughs> They're not looking at a viral video going, find this man, arrest him. Yeah, let's arrest this guy who made a fake video. Can you imagine we hear a ding dong and the police are here and they yeah. drag you away? Oh, like, finally, some peace and quiet. For connecting to your upstairs neighbor, which by the way, we're in a house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have no <laughs> upstairs neighbor. That's the beauty of this all. And I also am posting, I'm going to post more to keep it going. Yo, man, everything's just smoke and mirrors, baby. It's all smoke and mirrors. And I don't care at this point. At first, I'm just like, my artistic integrity. It's like, oh, I just want to be known as a stand-up comedian and post. It's like, no, at this point, you just have to get the followers so people notice in any way possible. Yeah, at as least. As long as you're not hurting anybody. And uh, as, long, as long as you're not like, me connecting to my upstairs neighbor, that using that friggin' voice, anybody who uses that, that app yeah. should be in jail. The way that grocery stores make food. And you're like, what? You're just holding it. Here I am at the dog bar. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, uh, I always find it crazy that like even like actors and comedians use that. And it's like, this is your chance to do a voiceover. Yeah, this but is- everybody's dumb and doesn't know how. I'm dumb, don't know how. That's why I have you. You help me dumb. I guess, but me dumb for different ways. Yeah, and me, me good dumb in for different, different ways. ways? Listen, guys, happy Chappy Hour to you. It's Chappy Hour, or the Chappy Hour, dedicated to the worst robot movie ever, Chappy. That's right. Uh, Julia still has not seen it. I've seen it one time, and plus a few clips I looked at on YouTube to refresh my hate for it. But um, you think in a few years they're going to reboot it? You think Chappy they're going to be reboot? like, it's not one of those movies that like, is rebootable, I think. Or they do a mashup, a chap up, where it'll be like Chappy um, and like what's in a, what's a movie? It's like when the Flintstones and the Jetsons. What, so what Johnny you, Five from FX. Do you ever see FX? Johnny Five. No. Johnny Five's a good robot. He's a good one. I'm he's thinking like, an 80s like robot. He looks like he's made out of old car parts and like a half a Nintendo. Okay. Maybe, maybe even Jetsons and Chappy. There you go, because there's mm. robots there. I just really hope. Chappy doesn't show up in like the Marvel universe or something oh, like God. Ant-Man's in like the quantum realm and he's like a portal opens and Chappy comes out and he's like oh yeah yeah oh yeah Chappy oh yeah Chappy <laughs> and you're like no I used to have fun at these movies and now there's Chappy I would love for Chappy to enter the Marvel universe and just kill everybody yeah he's like really good and he's like really strong or if he like shows up in Star Wars at some point I might I might be done with the whole franchise. I'm you know what? Him and uh, that friggin' bitch ass fucking Chewbacca. No, that gold <laughs> piece of shit. Oh, C three PO. Yeah. He is a bitch ass <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Even as a kid watching Star Wars, I'm like, fuck this guy. You know what? Are you a butler? Him and Chappie can go down to fucking Cafe Nervosa and have a few sips with Fraser and Niles. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I, I like a Fraser reboot, but it's Chappie and C three PO. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chappy. <laughs> like, oh, God, we have eight seasons of this. I like that. Written. Chappy only says, oh, yeah, Chappy. Oh, yeah, Chappy, because I can't think of anything <laughs> that he said from the movies. Speaking of oh, yeah, Chappy, uh, Matt, what are you chapping this Chappy hour? Um, just bubbly water from the old soda stream. Because, wow. Uh, like I said a previous week, um, also, if you don't know, this is where we usually try out fun alcoholic drinks, but this is just something I just wanted a bubbly. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It came out of the tap. Well, it came out of the tap through a filter into the soda stream there you go good, very refreshing and uh what am i chapping you ask yep. other than my ass chapping um, my ass i'm having something called a diet coke yep we it's funny how quickly that kicked in because we're not pop people or soda people depending on what you want we're say. not or soda pop uh or soda pop and when we stop drinking for a bit all of a sudden a craving for diet coke creeps in I don't know what that is. This isn't even the stopping drinking part for me because I'm still drinking. It's just I started when I first started my Diet Coke journey, I'd cut it with soda, like a plain soda or like a cherry bubbly or something. Yes, that's nice. And it tastes like Dr. Pepper. 
But you know what? Dr. I, Pee-Pee. Dr. Pee-Pee's. So I like a little uh, DDCC, and it's just nice. Because right now, I'm not like, I'm not, I, I've been like worn down this week. Yeah, it's been a hell of a week. And I don't have COVID-19 because I tested like three times. I'm just fucking tired. I was around, a, a, we were around kids. We went to like a kid's birthday. What is happening? We were invited. Yeah, we didn't just show up at a kid's birthday and we're like, hello. Yeah. Oh my God, you're making me sick and you're gross. Um, so yeah. yeah that just, was how you know we don't have kids. We showed up to this kid's birthday party in a park and we're like, don't touch anything. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, they were like, there was pizzas. I'm like, mm, I'm not touching that. And then some kid like literally, literally swan dove into the pizza with his hands. Oh, the kids and, were like high-fiving the open pizzas and I'm like, just, but and th- literally the day after, I'm like, oh, I feel a tickle in my throat. Yeah. And then I kids. waited a few days and then I, I tested. Then I waited a few more days. I tested again. I'm like, okay, well, I forgot that you can just like feel like shit and have it not be COVID. Yeah. That's what we got to remember. Sometimes you just get a, just get a little cold, just a little common cold. Also back to the Frasier thing. Mm-hmm. We should tell people that we're currently in queue for going to a live taping of Frasier. <gasps> Which, wait, what does that mean in queue? I don't really understand. I think so many people want to go that they're like, mm. let's see who really wants to go. Because they, they made me fill out a little bio. They're like, how how much do you love this show? And I was like, my wife and I remade scenes from Frasier during the pandemic and it saved our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. But uh, <sighs> I should I should put us in queue for d- other dates. I only put us in queue for one date, actually. Listen. If Kelsey Grammer came up to me and was like, let's do it, and I wanted to. Ew, you'd would have you? sex with Kelsey Grammer? I don't know. His I don't. Big, hulking body. He's like, you've seen him t- topless in the show. He's it's just like. I know. He looks like a an rectangle. Egg. Yeah, he does he's, look and like he's a very shade fuzzy. Date. He looks like a. He looks like, like, like a. A well worn carpet that's starting to fray. Yeah, like a rolled up rug at the back of the rug store that you're like, no one's going to buy this. <laughs> but then it's like actually very well learned. I just couldn't be like, I. It'd be hilarious. I fucked Frazier. I can't picture an erection coming out of that man. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I you, can. <laughs> <laughs> you, there's certain people I can't picture them with erections. It's like him, Tom Hanks. Well, now I'm Gary picturing with them with erections, and for some reason, they all have their hands on their hips, and they're just smiling. Yeah, and I know and I hate it. Thank God erections don't make that noise when they go up. Um, they should, because then you would know when these fucking perverts are getting erections. That would so. actually be a really good way to catch pervs. If you're at the fucking park, and there's a bunch of kids around, and you just hear like, then you're like, get them. I guess so. That could be like a court-ordered thing. It's like, if you are a sex offender, you have to put sound effects in your erection. <laughs> get out of here we know what you are i still think there should be i've talked about this before that there should be penis jail like a little cage for your penis yeah like if you if you do something there and it should be hmm. because i know that like uh, over time like like how ducks female ducks you know um evolutionarily evolutionarily i believe it uh developed like a separate vagina because fucking male ducks fucking getting their yeah. disgusting dicks in there so they're like well i don't want to get pregnant all the time he's a fake vagina you dumb duck yeah so it sucks that it's always like the the female who has to evolve but it, i wish that something would evolve in the males that you do something bad with your dick that you're not supposed to you get penis jail you get a little yeah. lockdown like you get maybe like a web or something that just shuts it down you can't use it and then if you do it bad like something bad three times you, you lose your dick it just falls off that is good they they should we should evolve to that absolutely penises should be removable one hundred percent that then men would act yeah. uh, way differently I think speaking of removable I told you this I don't think I mentioned this last week in the podcast oh yes you, I was you told me this because you were like I think this would work in your act because yeah. this is how weird I am so when I'm doing my little spin classes on my stationary bike I like to read facts about things there's this, there's this magazine called How to Mm-hmm. And it tells you it, it, every uh, episode, every issue is just different like facts about different things. And one was uh, about scorpions. And so <laughs> this is fact about scorpions. There's a lot of different facts about scorpions. But one of them is that if a scorpions, um, most species of scorpions, if they're running away from a predator, they can actually remove their tail and ass mm-hmm. and throw it at the predator. 
as like a diversion. As a diversion to hope that that will sustain them, that they'll stop and start eating their ass and tail. <laughs> yeah. And then the scorpion can, can again get away freely. The thing with that is, is when the scorpion removes its ass and tail, it removes the anus. Mm -hmm. And then after a couple months, the scorpion dies of constipation. Because it can't shit. Because it cannot shit. And someone won a Nobel Prize for figuring that out. Isn't that wild? Like that was, I was looking at the 2023 Nobel Prize winners and that was one of them. It's like, man. That was the peace prize. <laughs> yeah, the Nobel <laughs> Prize. You brought peace to the world. Also like, yeah, like he, I'm sure the scientists are like, why are there so, so many shit filled scorpions? And why yeah, are why they are they all dying of, of constipation? Shit? And where is its ass? This is what I don't understand. Yeah, there's a lot to not understand about if, this. Okay, you're ripping off the ass, fine. First of all, Picturing a scorpion's little anus is hilarious. It's, it's tiny. It's, like, it's a little, you know. And but like, if it rips off its ass, won't the shit just fall out in some other way? Like the. <sighs> it must have like a like a flap, like a gas cap, or like you know that top of a a tractor with the exhaust where it goes right. That little flap. When you rip the ass off, the flap comes down, and I guess it just you know Maybe. solders shut. Because I'm then, picturing like if you rip off my anus and I have no more anus. I think I'll die, but like, yeah. but I just think the shit will just fall out in a different way. You think so? Yeah, it must. It must like heal over because the right. The yeah, maybe that's like, it. Yeah. Whoa, there's an extra hole here. Better heal that over. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Plus is scabs up. That is a good movie. Should we write a short film? We've been talking Scorpion about writing anus? a short film. Yeah, it's about a, a person that removes their ass and they're about to get mugged, and, and they throw their ass. They at the throw perps. their ass at the perps, and then they're just the perps are just holding it, and then the guy and then they get, go. <laughs> yeah, and then the guy gets away. And he's like, thank God I didn't get mugged, but now I have no anus and I'm going to die of, uh, of, of constipation in a couple months. I cannot think of a worse movie premise. Yeah. That is just absolutely upsetting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it. Because it's a comedy, but it's also drama as well. So, so imagine I come home and you're like, how was your day? Where is your ass? And I'm going to be like, I got to sit you down and be like... I am going to die in a couple months because I'll be so full of shit because I lost my ass. This is a sad movie and a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> also, it smells terrible. And it smells oh. so bad. Also, fucking scorpions are weird. Also, I'm a Scorpio, so I feel like... You should be able to remove your ass I should be able to remove my ass and throw it at people. Fair enough. And then um, I should be able to like, go, go, gadget ass, and then like, and then have it back and go, and put it back on. This is how the human body should work. Two things. Penises should be removable. So should asses. Yeah. Asses and penises. I've always said penises should be removable because like I'm more likely to fucking diddle your penis if it's just easily right there where I need it. Oh, if it's like you can hold it like a can of Coke. Yeah. And, just yeah. Da -da 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 and I'm just like in the next town over. And yeah. <laughs> but you can still feel it and it's nice. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just vibrating in a movie <laughs> theater somewhere. I was like, oh my God, my wife's diddling my penis at home. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm on stage in a different town. Oh my God, hold on a second. My penis is getting activated 300 miles away. <laughs> Speaking of penis activated, uh, we should get into our first segment. I don't know if that activates some penises out there, but some people get excited for our segments, I think. Yeah. Do you want to go happy or bad? Let's go Let's go bad first, and then we'll okay. end on something happy. Well, this is a segment uh, where we talk about something stupid that happened this week, and we call it, well, that was stupid. <laughs> Well, well, that, that was, was stupid. stupid. Do you want to go first with the stupid thing? Because I don't, I don't know if our, our stupid thing is the same thing. That's the thing. I have one lined up, and it's very stupid. Okay. You go first. My stupid thing this week. So, first of all, it's been a bit of a dry week for me. I, I'm not getting a lot of emails. There's, I think I talked, maybe I talked about this last week, where I'm just like, sometimes in showbiz, you just you have a week that's really red, hot, 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 and then next week you're like, not, not, not. Yep. Uh, so, this is a not, not, not week for me. <laughs> Trying to make it work doing my own shit, creating my own projects, whatnot. Got an audition, and we both got this audition. That's that's where I, th I thought it might be the same thing. Is It was literally for a fast food commercial. Wouldn't tell us which one. And it's a bite and smile audition, mm -hmm. where if you have anybody you know that does commercial auditions, you literally take a piece of bread or something, bite it, and smile. Don't look at the camera, but they just want to see you biting and smiling and chewing. But Which is crazy, first of all, because they're like, take a bite and you're chewing. You're not smiling with your teeth, right? No. If I were to smile with my teeth, I would just have a bunch of fucking bun in my teeth. Oh, bun, bun gums bun over tooth. here. Yeah, bun gums. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm just doing this and part of me just started doing it. I'm like, because it's normal to me, but I'm like, this is so stupid. 
it's so dumb like, that these people have to be like, they can't even imagine what you would look like chewing something or they got to make sure that you're actually that not stupid that you can chew and bite properly. I will say though, I watched because I did my bite and smile and I watched it back and I'm like, I look like a fucking idiot. Is this how I look? To find someone who does it like naturally and like, I don't know. It's, it should just it's be, stupid though. It should just be a slate. It should just be like, hi, I'm Matt O'Brien. Yes, I will eat whatever you're serving up. And that's it. Don't make me, because first of all, the instructions were like, if you have a burger available, use the burger. Yeah, it's like preferably a burger or a sandwich. It's like, oh, yeah, I just got a cupboard full of old burgers that I use for commercial auditions. No problem at all. I'll just use one of those. Um, so I did it, but I'm just like, this has to end. This is so dumb. Because then here's the thing is if there's a callback for this, which there will be, uh, you're probably going to have to go in person. You're probably going to have to drive across town, mm -hmm. wait in a room, go in, take a piece, take a bite of a bread, and then get the hell out of there. I remember I was doing one in Toronto once and there's just like a bucket of old bread. Yeah. It's always like the driest bread too. And you're just like, yeah, I remember going in with this one guy. I, I feel like I never really saw him again after this, but <laughs> <laughs> we both had to do it. And then as on his way out, he went for seconds. <laughs> he like, Ew. it was this gross old bread. And I'm like, okay. And I threw mine in the garbage and I see him reach over in the bowl and grab some more on the way out. I'm like, I don't know if you're an actor as much as you are a guy that dude was hungry. Maybe he missed lunch for this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to piggyback off your little bite and smile because that is very stupid. Yep. I have never booked a bite and smile because I don't think I look like a, a woman because they're always like, make it really natural. But then you see these commercials. I'm like, that doesn't look natural. I don't, uh, I don't know. And I also find when I was doing mine, I like hum when I eat when I'm having a good time. I'm like a goat. I'm just like yeah, mm -hmm. goats do that. I'm a what, what what kind of goat? A La Mancha goat? I mean, they all do that. Oh, there's Nubian goats, La Mancha, boar goats. Those are show goats. Those are the ones you want to show mum. <laughs> <laughs> hey mum, I got a boar goat. Look I think at this I'm a boar goat. goat. I'm a show goat. You're a bit of a show goat. <laughs> this is my Billy, wife. She's a bit of a show Billy goat. goats. Billy goat show, show uh, even the show ones piss on their own head. What? I told you this, didn't I? Yeah, but do, do all goats piss on billy their own head? Billy goats do. Oh, billy goats. Billy goats will piss on the ground and rub their head in it and to attract women. All women of all species. Men are fucking stupid. Yeah. I mean, I get it. As if you're an animal that has a good like, sense of smell, you just smell. Like pheromones. You walk and... over, smell my head, and you're like, this is what you've been doing? Like, You can't lie to me because I can smell your piss. I can smell everything you've eaten, everything you've drank. I How are you so. feeling? But then I remember I'd have like city kids over to my, the farm growing up and they would pet all the goats and I'd be like, don't pet the billy goats though. But they'd be like all over the billy goats, like petting them, hugging them. And I'm like, they're Ew. literal piss heads. Head pissers. Little head hmm. pissers. Well, back to the old bite and smile. I did mine today and uh, yeah, just found an old piece of sourdough in the freezer. Yep. Use that as the sandwich. Classic stuff. And here's the thing. Here's what's extra stupid about all of this. So... Many moons ago, I had braces, yeah. which caused trauma to my canine teeth. This is a canine, right? I think so. The oh, Sharpie yeah, guys, the, little, the, one, little, the meat eaters. The little like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little steak, fangs. The steak puncturers. So they caused trauma to the tooth, which made me have to get a root canal. This is when I was like, I don't know, 16. Yeah. And then over time, the root canal, the tooth turned like just brown and off colored. And I would always notice it in like audition tapes, pictures, whatever. I'm like, I hate it. So finally, I'm like, I'm going to get a crown. So I went yesterday to get my crown filled first of all i was hungover because oh, i wasn't yeah. supposed to get the crown yesterday it was supposed to be the day before but then my doctor canceled because she was sick anyway it's an hour and a half procedure i don't know if you've gotten a crown before but they fucking whittle it all down they put it it was a nightmare and now i have this new disgusting temporary crown on that feels like a fucking rhino's taint it is so it's like rough it's weird and they're like, you can't, can't floss, you can't whatever, because they'll pop it out. And there's something, it doesn't feel loose, but it doesn't feel as secure as like yeah, a real it's tooth. it's not a real, it's not your tooth. I know, but I'm like, so I'm like doing this bite and smile thing and I just feel it and I feel like the sourdough sticking to it. And I'm like, mm, and then I just smile and I just see this like fucking rhino brown tooth. And I'm like, it just encapsulated all the bread. Now you have a bread tooth. Exactly. Now I have full bread tooth. 
I feel like bread tooth is the name of somebody in a medieval village. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bread tooth. He'll eat your loaves. <laughs> he loves eating his old loaves, <laughs> digging through the garbage and eating old loaves of old bread tooth. Oh, you want some advice? You go see old bread tooth. Here comes bread tooth. Oh. <laughs> But also, I was just worried because they're like, don't really like bite on things right now. So I've been eating soft things. I'm like, well, I'm just picturing myself biting down on the sourdough and then opening up and then the tooth just being stuck in the thing. And me going, Grr. I like McDonald's. I like, it's not, I don't even know if it's for McDonald's. We don't even know if it's for McDonald's. They refuse to tell us. And another thing, this stupid bite and smile. Yeah. My, I don't know what yours said, but mine was like a woman 20 to 29. Bitch. Ain't I, no one that age anymore. First of all, there are, um, <laughs> and it's not me. I like maybe yeah, twenty nine. I can play, but twenty twenty to twenty nine means like the sweet spot you're looking for is like twenty five. Oh, I yeah. fucking look twenty five. No, I like to think I do, but old, I don't. Old brown tooth falling out of her head. Yeah, and yeah, I'm a twenty five year old. This is what happens when you eat McDonald's every day. Looks like she's been playing a piece of shit like a flute. <laughs> first of all, it's not that brown. Uh-huh. <laughs> Could you f- manufacture a piece of shit into a flute? You know? Absolutely. Did I talk about poo knives? Absolutely. Last week? Yeah, we talked about poo knives. Okay. Yeah, maybe poo flutes. Maybe that's the next a step. P- a poo flute? A poo flute. <laughs> 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 What's that noise? Better not be a poo flute. <laughs> and it just stinks like the air coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it like brings people in. They're like, oh, that's beautiful music. Oh, oh it no. smells. <laughs> <laughs> Got you with the old poo flute. You did it again, poo flute. <laughs> yeah, you got poo fluted. What about a poo clarinet, poo trumpet, poo, poo saxophone? You can make a whole poo o- orchestra depending on the, sa- the amount of poo you have. Yeah, a giant cello made of shit. A, a pueno? A pueno? <laughs> a piano made of poo? <laughs> it's just the poo, the keys are all poo. <laughs> all the fart noises? Oh. What's the different one? A pukulele? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ah, ah, I don't, I don't, uh, here's the problem with saying all this is... We're probably going to make that one of our clips next week, and I'm going to Photoshop all of that. <laughs> Possibly. I hope not. Um, speaking of pukulele, uh, that sounds pretty <laughs> warm and fuzzy to me. <laughs> um, we should get into our final segment before we shove off for the evening. Uh, it's a thing that uh, and we talk about what made us feel nice this week, and it's a warm and fuzzy segment. Warm and fuzzy. Do you want to go first? Yes. Um, I, I've been sitting on this one for a little bit because I, I didn't want to say anything until it was like, like a contract was signed. Oh. And it's I'm making this way bigger than it is. Here we but go. for me, it's big. I feel very warm and fuzzy because I, um, I, I got my first shopping agreement with a production company. Hell yeah. And if you don't know what a shopping agreement is, no um, it's basically a production company is like, we like your idea, whatever idea that is that you pitch. And we want to work with you on that. So we were going to work with you together and create this wonderful pitch. And then the production company then goes and sends it to uh, different networks, whatever, in hopes that, if it goes, if someone buys it and then you sign another contract and then you work together in creating this project. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so it's for, um, it's for a feature film and uh, yeah, because I was just like, you know what? I'm auditioning all the time and I'm not booking much right now and I keep seeing these scripts and I'm like, you know what? I could write something like this. Damn right you could. So I sent a bunch of pitches out and guess what? Turns out. People like what Ladquitz has to say. That's right. So I'm really excited. Yeah. And Foot like, in the door. Yeah. Foot in the door. It's a six month shopping agreement. Best case scenario, someone buys it. I write. The, I get to write the full script. Um, I potentially get to be in it. Get to be maybe even a producer or something. I'm gonna be best boy. You're gonna be best boy. I'm gonna carry the cables around and then refill the coffee maker. There you go. Oh, it's gonna be nice. I mean, like, I I'm putting it out there. I really have good feelings about this. But worst case scenario. After six months or after they decide like, okay, this isn't going anywhere. Nobody wants to buy it. All the rights go back to me. And now I have this amazing pitch deck that I can bring somewhere else. That's right. So either way, you're getting something out of this. Either way, it's a win-win situation. It's going to be a le- good learning experience. It's going to be... And like all at the same time, it's like I started. So that happened. And then right when I signed up for um, a writing class yeah. that teaches you how to write a pitch, um, which I'm pitching another idea because... Yeah, I just want to have multiple things on the go. And I joined a writer's group. So I'm like, it's all just sort of like 
uh, it's all coming together. It is. And I'm quite, I'm quite excited. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm um, very proud of you. And minus this fucking stupid tooth that feels awful in my head, things are looking up. Also, the thing about the tooth, <coughs> you wanted this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not like an emergency thing. You didn't have to like you got a tooth knocked out. You wanted this, and it's it's working. So I know, but like, I I don't know why in my head I was like, oh yeah, they're just gonna you know, pop a new thing. I wasn't thinking. And it, it just really hurts. And also because I'm like just a little bit sick and I have my period like crazy. Oh, yeah. TMI. But, you know. Too much. Too much iodine. <laughs> Iodine's <laughs> red, right? I don't think so. I thought iodine, iodine could be red. I've only known it from like, isn't it, don't they put that on uh, your arm before they give you needles sometimes? That's peroxide mm, or no, um, rubbing iodine. alcohol. Either way. I feel like iodine's red. I don't think it is. Well, but now I got to know. Iodine. What color? Um, Alexa, what color is iodine? Iodine is lustrous, metallic, and gray. And appears violet as a and gas. Ri- rip- yes. So, No. <laughs> I'm gonna look into this later. I don't think Alexa. Wait, did she knows say she lustrous? Knows. I don't understand. She See, seems uh, like she's really into iodine. I don't think she knows. She maybe she's talking about her friend iodine. Maybe AIs love <laughs> iodine. Hey, Mart, what's your uh, warm and fuzzy? I'm Mart. Um, mine this week is a simple one, and I'm gonna keep it tight as well. Um, so yeah, when you're going for your dental surgery, you're like, you got to hang out because they might dope you up and you won't be able to drive home, whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll go to a cafe around the corner. You found this cafe called Canyon Coffee. They've given give me zero dollars to promote them. But it, I had to go through the hills of, what is it? Like Silver Lake or Echo, Echo It's sort Park. of like uh, glendale Echo Parky. Yeah. Anyway, like I turned a corner and it was just the cutest neighborhood. And I parked on the top of this giant hill and I was just looking over LA and there was like palm trees everywhere and the sun was out and it was like warm. And I'm just like, no matter what happens in this dumb, stupid city, like I do really love it here. Like it is beautiful. I'm trying to stop literally to smell the roses lately because there's so many bad things happening and everything's gone to shit. But it's like sometimes you stop and look around and and you just you're just like this is nice this is really nice and i went to this cafe and it was very busy a lot of hip people at least four people talking about mezcal like this is when people talk about young people like like millennials whatnot they're all they are the impressions are accurate i heard four people talk about mezcals that they enjoyed um people were wearing old ratty vintage clothing that was probably hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, but the coffee was good. There you <laughs> it go. It was really good. And also, Goldeneye came out for a Nintendo Switch, so I brought my Nintendo Switch with me. With me and I you played. had a real nice time. A Meanwhile, I was time. getting my tooth chiseled down yeah. and just the worst headache of my life, hungover. Yeah, I did feel weird too because I was like, I was like, I want to sit here and play Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna play Goldeneye. And then there was so many hip people around, and, and they were like on their computers working. But I'm like, oh, should I be working on something? Boo. And I'm like. I think a younger me would be embarrassed to play video games at a, ca- a hip cafe, but I'm like, fuck everyone. Everyone sucks. Do what you go- want. Yeah. That's so. what's nicer about getting a bit older is like caring so much less. So that's that's why I'm kind of excited to be like 80 and just be like, yeah. fuck everyone. Yeah. Especially when you do all you want, what you want. If you like playing, yeah, playing Nintendo Switch in public, people probably saw me and they're like, look at that cute old man. <laughs> look at that cute old yeah. man. Oh my God. Revisiting his youth. Oh my God, he's lost and dumb. Speaking about lost and dumb, can I say like, I just have a little question. Yeah. Um. Okay. I know, so a lot of people, when when someone says like America, you think of the United States of America, right? Yes. I know that like Canada is in America. It's the Americas. North I get America. that. Yeah. It's, so I I'd, I'd posted a video Um. I'm like, and I call it like the difference Canada versus U S or whatever. And I'm talking to Canadians in the front row with some crowd work. And then there's a guy, there's, there was this really intense guy who was like heckling and being a piece of shit. And I was like, you look like you love America or whatever. And someone yeah. commented, they're like, well, Canada's in America. And I was just like, I know, but it's just, it doesn't have the same ring saying no. the United States of America. And he's like, well, that just feeds into the, I, I forget what he said, but I was just like, Okay, so am I crazy here? No, that's what people say. They, if you say America, America, 
This is the United States of America. Yeah, it's America. It, that's this is just internet people being like, actually, I could say this, and it's technically true, even though even though not. I, both of us have been getting some traction on stand-up clips and the amount of stupid comments that come out of the woodwork. Like people, literally people being like, it, it appears you're embellishing to get more laughs. It's like, well, that's what stand-up that's comedy is. That's what stand-up is, comedy is. Tit. It's not a uh, word-for-word storytelling. Yeah, or like my dash cam joke where I, I talk about how you can hear me singing Cotton Eye Joe on my dash cam. So many people are like, why didn't you just turn the mic off? And then they wouldn't hear anything. I'm like, well, then there'd be no joke. The it, punch. The punchline is that. Yeah. So just enjoy the punchline and move on. Yeah, th- this, okay, this man, Canada's in America. And then I said my thing, and he's like, that's ridiculous. It adds to the stigma. Ugh. Just, and I, fuck you, George. Yeah. Uh, I have been commenting, because I've been getting a lot of like, hey, go kill yourself, which is nice. <laughs> uh, you're a stupid cunt, and your shirt sucks. Uh, you magnum PI piece of shit. <laughs> um, and then I'll just comment. They're all from me. Yeah. <laughs> But the problem is, is the, as much as these people hate you, it is helping the algorithm. Oh, yeah. So I do invite fan it. Fan the fire. And I do fan them. <laughs> Me and uh, a fellow comedian, Andy Delisepe, were comparing it to poking it with a stick. Yeah, poking Just a bear. Like, yeah, go. Keep going. Yeah, call How me a piece I of suck? shit. Call me a piece of shit. Come on, come, come on. on. Do I suck? Because, yeah, it helps with those interactions. And I'll literally be like, hi, okay, great, keep going. And then they'll be like, no, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, no, I can't say anything. Or it's crazy how much people like just remove you from the equation and they're commenting about it like like you are not there. Even though I'm posting it on my personal page, yeah. it's, it's like, she looks like this or she whatever. Like, Oh, do I? And then they're like, gah, 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 what? And I'm not like responding or anything. I'm just I'm just watching all this. Like I, I had that one clip where I was like, I someone's, told me i look like jeffrey dahmer which is true she did and everybody's telling me what do they think i look like i'm getting a lot of napoleon dynamite never could have predicted that in my life getting a lot of napoleon and then also, like it's not even like a new movie like how do these people know about that movie still i don't know napoleon dynamite getting a lot of weird weird stuff oh god there's worse things to be compared to you know he's a successful comedic actor and that was a great movie <sighs> anyway so, what's his name john heater I think it's header or heater. He's doing fine. I think he's doing okay. He must be doing fine, right? He uh, blades of glory. That you know was- what's crazy? When okay, so when Austin Butler, um, the guy who plays all this, I don't know why I was thinking Austin Powers. I was like Austin Butler. Yeah, <laughs> is that Austin Powers' his real name? <laughs> Someone posted a picture of Napoleon Dynamite of that actor, and then Austin Butler side They're by side, and being like, "Oh my god, such a glow up!" And at first, I was like wait is that him he looks amazing now but they have this similar like yeah (laughs) even though i think austin butler is like a gorgeous man and so hot and if he walked in here right now we'd both have to fuck him i don't want to you're gonna do it i don't want to fuck austin he's very attractive but then i'm like oh in my mind for a second i'm like holy shit good for him yeah (laughs) he does they have the same facial features certain facial but no. Can you imagine? Anyway, and then the- I look like Napoleon Dynamite, so I look like Austin, Austin Butler, Butler, and I want to fuck myself. It's it's interesting <laughs> how you never see Napoleon Dynamite, L. Austin Butler, and Julia Lakowitz in the same room together. Where's so start, the lie? Start your conspiracies, internet. <laughs> They're the same person. If I find out you're Austin Butler and Napoleon Dynamite, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever come back from that. I don't think I'll ever you like sneak out at night to be in a movie about Elvis. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever come back. I just hosted SNL. Oh, I just dropped my thing. Uh, yeah, you just hosted SNL, and I was like, "Where were you the last week?" And you're like, mm, "At just Groundlings." With a fucking, <laughs> I put a pillowcase with a wig on it. Yeah, you were here the whole time. Anyway, um, that's the end of the show, Mac. Where can they find you? You can find me on, uh, you know, uh, on the internet. Where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on the internet, um, Julia Comedy on Instagram, Julia Comedian on Facebook. Which, by the way, I now have forty thousand followers on Facebook and over thirty thousand on Instagram. <laughs> I'm an influencer. Now I'm erect. I'm erect for your information. <laughs> Mm. And what what noise does it make when a vagina is uh, uh, um, uh, pleased? (laughs) (laughs) Do it again. You see see me with my shirt off and you go, (laughs) oh my God, my wife is horny. Horny Horny Adams. Adams. (laughs) (laughs) That's the episode. Thanks so much. Sorry it's a day late. I'm going to post it right now. Okay, bye babies.
what you want with Matt and Julian. Is this what you want? Sha-la-la-la-la-la.